So when people have short-term pain, there's no problem using medications to get over just a brief episode or something that's hurting. But the big problem comes with long-term pain, chronic pain. If you've just had an operation and you arrive in the recovery ward, so opioids can have an excellent role, maybe your pain is 9 out of 10 in the recovery ward, it's quite possible to get that pain down from a 9 out of 10 to a 0 out of 10. But in the long-term situation, they're anything but that. They're not strong painkillers at all. And if there is any benefit, it might be less than one point on the 0 to 10 scale and that tends to be outweighed by the harms that come. Opioids are really effective drugs, but they have lots of short-term side effects, so they cause a lot of constipation. They can cause unsteadiness and dizziness, make it unsafe to drive, for instance. And of course, then there's that much longer-term risk of addiction and misuse. We've got to be really careful that that use doesn't then extend and become, oh, I'm quite looking forward to my next opiate, and that we start continuing to use them because we were on them before. And so use of medications tends to have a fairly minor role in that because it doesn't have much power to change, uh, to retrain brain pathways, whereas the other aspects, the mind-body, the connection, the activity and nutrition all have potentially greater power to retrain the brain and it's not a magic quick fix but to gradually wind pain down over time.